Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Today we are going to continue answering questions about uh, pressure and pressure for liquids. Here in this question, they ask for identical submarines PQR S are lowered, okay, on this ash from certain depth to another, okay, with the same density for liquid, constant density. The initial and the fine depth of the submarines are shown in the diagram, which show, shows the difference in pressure for the initial and final of each what submarine. Which one has the least change in the pressure and which one has the greatest change in pressure? As you can see here, the change in pressure is only 20 meter, 20 meter for P and Q. Here for R and S, it's 40 meter, 40 meter. So the change in pressure for PQ is the least and the change of the pressure for R and S is the greatest. So the answer is A. Question number two, they ask about how we can increase the pressure on the stone in which way? Can we decrease the surface area of the stone? No. Can we increase the mass of the stone? No, it doesn't affect that. Okay, using a liquid with lower density that decreases the, the pressure, lower the stone, put it lower with a greater depth. So that means I increase, that's what it's pressure. Okay, question number three, if you please send me the answer. Okay, a drawing pen, okay, has a sharp a point on one end and a flat surface on the other. The pen is pushed into the wooden board, okay? How the pressure of, uh, and the force of the sharp point compare the, to the pressure and the force of the flat surface? Now, we know that the force doesn't change for both sides, for every action, there's an equal opposite action and it's the same force. So the force is the same, is the same. Shukran Salma, Mustafa, Muhammad, Adham, Sidra, Sandra, shukran alaykum. And the pressure, is the greatest at the flat surface. So, so it's greater than on the flat surface on the sharp point. So the answer is C, Shukran Abdul Rahman. Okay, question number four. So the answer is C. Question number four. An object, okay, is 20 meter below the surface liquid. The liquid density has, okay, density equal this value, 1,200. What is the pressure? Now we know that pressure equal density times gravity times depth. And we have to convert the depth from a centimeter to be in meters, so 0 0.20 meter. Okay, we substitute the values 1,200 plus, uh, sorry, multiplies by 10, gravity acceleration multiplied by 0 0.2. And the answer is, uh, the answer exactly is 2,400 Pascal. Yes, shukran laikum. Question number five. The pressure due to the liquid on the, an object immersed in a liquid is 4,500 Pascal. The density of the liquid is this value. At what depth the object must be uh, lowered inside the surface of the liquid, below the surface of the liquid? Now we know that pressure equal density multiplied by gravity multiplied by depth. So the pressure which is 4,500 equal the density which is 900 multiplied by 10 the gravity acceleration multiplied by depth. So the depth equal 4,500 divided by 9,000. And the answer will be how much? Will be 30, it will be half, half meter. So the half meter, it will be what? 30 centimeters. So the answer is what is C. 4,500 divided by 9,000, not 9,000 divided by 400. So the answer cannot be two or 200, okay? Tamam, be careful. I want to find H and in front of H there is, okay, 9,000 uh, 9, multiplied by H, okay? Be careful. Now, question number six. An oil tank has a base area. This is the area, 2.5 meters square. And it's filled with oil with depth of how much? 1.2. The density is this amount, this is the density. What is the force act on the base area? Now we know that pressure equal force over area. So by doing cross multiplication, force equal pressure multiplied by area. Now I have to find the pressure first. So the pressure, which is density times gravity times height, all of this are multiplied by what? To, by the area to find what? To find the force. So again, Sabaya, Shabab, look here. By doing cross multiplication, force equal pressure, multiply by what? 
multiplied by area. Now, density times gravity times depth is the pressure multiplied by the area. So we will put the values, what we have, 800 multiplied by 10, multiplied by the depth, which is 1.2, and all of this are multiplied by the base area, 2.5, so the answer at the uh, yes, 24,000 Newton. Yes, that's the force. Sehel, Mashal Hal Hala. Okay, it's easy. Yes. Question number seven Four identical beakers are filled with equal volumes of two liquids, P and Q. Liquid P has more density than liquid Q, so density of P is greater than density of what? Of a Q. Good? Okay. At which point the pressure is the least? Oh, send me the answer. At which point the pressure is the least? The pressure of the, is the least with density more or density less? Density less, which is liquid Q. So which one is the answer? Yes, the answer is D. That's the least pressure. If they ask about the greatest pressure, where it will be? If they ask about greatest pressure, it will be where? Exactly, it will be A. A, it will be the greatest what pressure because it has density up more and deeper more. But here D is the least what pressure. So our answer is what is D. Tamam. Okay. Question number eight. What they ask here? They say the diagram shows a solid block resting on a bench, on a bench. Okay. The dimensions of the block are as shown. On which label surface should the block rest to produce the smallest pressure? Yes, smallest pressure on which side? Okay, I don't understand question five. Let me go to question five. So question five was? Okay, question five, the answer by using the calculator was half meter. Half meter, which means 50 centimeter. Pressure equal density times gravity times depth. The pressure, which is 4,000, uh, 4,500 equal the density, which is 9,000 multiplied by 10. Okay, 9,000 multiplied by H. So I need to find H over 9,000, over 9,000. The answer is half meter, which is 50 centimeter. Is it okay now? Okay, welcome. But now let's return back. On which side? Most of you told me that the answer on side P. Why side P has the least pressure? Because it has the greatest area, 40 multiplied by 80. So the answer is what? A, right? The length is 80 multiplied by the width, which is 40. So the smallest pressure will be on P. Which one has the greatest pressure? On which side it will be the greatest pressure? The greatest pressure, it will be on Q. Yes, thank you. The greatest pressure, it will be on Q. Next. Question nine, a submarine is in water of a density, okay, this is the density, a thousand, okay, of the water. The submarine changed the depth. This has caused the pressure to increase by this amount, 0 0.1 megapascal. That means the difference in pressure is mega, that means times 10 to the power of millions. So 0 0.1, okay. Multiply by 10 to the power of what? Six. That means we are talking about 100,000. Okay, Pascal. That's the difference in pressure. Okay, what do they ask? They say that, what is the change in the depth? So they ask about the delta L, delta H. So different in pressure equal density doesn't change times gravity times change times change in depth. So 100,000 equal. 1,000, the density of the water, multiply by 10, multiply by delta H, divide by 10,000, divide by 10,000. So delta H equal how much? 100,000 divided by 10,000, which is what? 10 meters. So the answer is what? Is B. Good so far? Now we answered nine, nine multiple choice questions. We did nine multiple choice questions. I want from each one of you to send me privately how many marks you get out of nine? You get three, four, seven, eight, nine of nine, nine out of nine. And yani that's uh, what I appreciate is if inshallah all of you get. Yes, Abdul Rahman. Shukran Layrak. 
ادهم برافو عليك يس يا عيني يا عبد الرحمن يس اها هو ايلس برافو يا الف جود اه مروان يا عيني مصطفى جود ابراهيم سو موست اوف يو جيت 7 اند اباف ذاتس اور فول مارك ذاتس اميزنج اوكي في ناس لسه ما بعتوليش عم بستناكو ابعت لكم ولا شو اه في ناس مش عم بيبعتوا طيب حاضرين انتوا على الفاضي اه ايوه ابراهيم اوكي ماشي طيب ماشي اوكي زي ما بدك بدك تبعت لي هذا ايوه شكرا يا سلمى مش مشكله يا سلمى عادي الواحد بيتعلم اه برافو يا حازم شكرا لك اوكي تمام خلينا نكمل هلا ذس كويشن اوكي شو بيحكي لنا هلا هون ذس از بيبر فور كويشن وي ديد وي ديد ذس كويشن لاست تايم اور وي ديدنت دو ات وي ديدنت دو ات صح بليز كان يو جو باك تو كويشن 9 كويشن 9 هي وي يس هاو وي انسرت وي ديد كويشن 10 اي ريمبر ذات Okay, number, I think uh, number 12 was homework, yes. صح? طيب, let's go back to number 11. Are you ready? يا الله, بسم الله. 11, على السريع, اللي بيعرف الجواب يبعت لي. Okay, اللي مش فاهم برضو يبعت لي. Okay. So, the figure here shows a, a hollow metal what cylinder containing air, okay, inside it. Floating inside what? The sea. So, it's float, that means density. Of it, it's. Bravo, Alec. Yes, Abdul Rahman. I I remember that I saw that. Okay, tamam. So uh, the density, average density of the uh, of the metal cylinder, okay, with the air inside it is less than the water. That's why it floats. Okay. So what they ask, the density of the uh, of the metal used make the cylinder greater, what, than the density of the sea water. Explain why the cylinder floats. Why the cylinder floats? Because it has air. Tamam. So, shukran. Because it has air. What else? What you can say? Because, uh -huh. less mass? No, not necessarily. The average density, not the density, it contains air, it contains air, making, yes, making the average density making the average density of it less than the seawater, less than the density of the seawater. That's why there is a Bian's force greater than what the Bian's force? Okay, density of the seawater. Ah, yes, Muhammad. The Bian's force or the upthrust force more than what? More, no. Yes, they are. It's equal. Bravo, Alec. It's equal to the weight. Bravo. It's equal to the weight. Bravo. Good. Next question. The cylinder has a length of 1.2 meter. Okay, that's the whole length, the total length. 1.2 is below the water. It floats at 1.2 meter submerged in the seawater. The bottom of the cylinder has a cross section area of this amount. Okay, the density of the seawater is 1,020. Okay, calculate the force exerted on the bottom of the what? Okay, of the cylinder due to the depth of the seawater. Now we know that pressure. Due to the C, that means they ask about the pressure of the density. They ask about the force. That's why four marks. Now, first step, I have to find the density at the bottom. So density times gravity times depth. The density, which is 1,020 multiplied by 10, multiplied by the depth inside the water, which is 1.2. So by using calculator, how much is the answer? 1020 multiplied by 12. The answer is... One two two four zero Pascal. Is this our answer? No, it's not our answer. This is only the pressure at the bottom. This is only the pressure by the sea affect here on the bottom. Okay, that's the what? That's the pressure. They ask about the force. So we know that. Uh huh. Yes. Bravo. We know that. Uh, 
We know that, yeah. We know that pressure equal force over what area. So that leads that the force equal the pressure multiply by what? By the area. For, for area multiplied by the pressure or pressure multiplied by area. So our answer that we just find it out is the pressure, one, two, two, four, zero, multiplied by the area, which is 0 0.8. And by using the calculator, our answer will be approximately how much? 9792 Newton. I will not write the whole thing. I will write only two or three significant figures. You can write 9800 Newton. Yes. Bravo, Abdurrahman. Bravo, Ibrahim. Yes, shukran laelko. Mikran, can you bat? Muhammad, Abdurrahman, Adam. Okay, Ra'in, shukran laelko. Okay. Good. Are you sure? I, I have a calculator, check. Uh, 1020 zero, zero, multiply by 12. It's uh, Check your calculator, if you please. This is the correct answer. Tell them. Okay. Now, what they ask, did you use the weight of the cylinder? Explain your answer. How much do you think the weight it will be? It will be the same answer of the force from the bottom. Yes, exactly. So it will be 9,000, what? 800 Newton, that's the weight. Why? Since it is what? It is balanced. Since it is balanced, okay, over the what? Over the sea surface. So since it's balanced, the resultant force is zero. That means the force up and the force down are equal. Should we make it always to a significant figure? Two or three significant figures, yes. If you put the whole number, no problem, okay? Yes, shukra Abdurrahman. thank you, shukra Alaf. Okay. We did this part, that's it, okay. Let's move on to the homework question. The figure below shows a pond that kept at constant depth Okay, pressure operator valve in the base. So we have a valve here that whenever the water, it increases the pressure on it uh, with the greater depth, the valve will be open and the extra water will go down until the level here reach a certain level. So make the pressure, uh, at certain pressure, the valve will be closed again and the water stays inside. Whenever we exceed the, the height of the water, the valve will keep open and the water get out from the outlet of it. The pond is kept at the depth of what? Two meters, this is the height, okay? The density of the water is uh, uh, 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. Calculate the weight of pressure on the valve. We know that pressure equal density times gravity times height, which is 1,000 multiplied by 10, multiplied by two. So our answer is what? 20,000 watt Pascal. Tamam? Good, yes, shukran ya'lef. Next, what they ask. The, the force required to open the valve is only what, 50 Newton. The valve will open with the water reach a depth of how much? Two meters, similar to this one, similar to this one, two meters. Calculate the area of the valve. Now we know that pressure equal force over area. That leads us that the area equal force over pressure. We did the cross, cross multiplication here. So pressure times area equal force. We need the area, area equal pressure divide, sorry, force divided by what pressure. So the force, which is 50, divide the pressure, which is the answer that we just find it when at the depth of two meter, exactly 20,000. So our answer would be 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative three, what cubic, uh, uh, sorry, meter, uh, meter square, sorry, meter square. Or you can write it as you can find on the calculator, 0 0.0025 meters square. Okay, it's the same answer. So it doesn't matter which one you write, this one or this one is the same thing. Okay. Tamam. Easy, Mustafa. Alhamdulillah, Umur Tamam. Shukran, ya Mustafa. Bravo, Alek. Last part here. We didn't talk about energy yet. We're going to talk about it next week. The water supply is turned off 
and the valve is held open so that water drain out through the valve. State, that means you already know the answer. Okay, uh, you love energy and the energy love you also. Okay, state the energy change, okay, of the water that occurs when the depth of the water is dropped from two meter to zero meter. Let's go back here. Now the water has a height of two meter. When the valve is open, it will go out and it will move. So it has a height. What's the pressure for position for height? What's the formula? What's the energy? Huh? Energy equal what? Gravitation potential energy because it has a position, because it has height. And this energy is transferred to become what? To becomes Ke, kinetic energy. So what do I mean by GPE? I mean by this gravitational, gravitational potential energy. into kinetic energy. Tamam? Everything is okay? Yes. Bravo. Bravo, Yamar Wan. Shukran Layla. Shukran Abdul Rahman. Excellent. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the questions that they didn't put it on the syllabus, but it's uh, something, an application about the pressure, how we can use it in our, what? in our life, okay? Which is the hydraulic system. And I think the hydraulic system, it's a very uh, useful uh, uh, idea and, uh, in our life because a lot of experiments, a lot of things that, uh, uh, a lot of applications in our life, like the brake system in the car, okay? Like the hydraulic system to lift the cars, okay? The, how we can move parts inside uh, heavy loaders or heavy object, okay, they use what? Hydraulic pressure, hydraulic system. So what happened here? Now, you can read this article, no problem, okay? I, I find it from Google and copy paste, but the idea that, okay, this is not, law is not included the principle of uh, Pascal principle, okay? It's not in the syllabus, but the idea that I have to talk about a fluid, liquid or water that undiminished, that means, cannot be compressed, uncompressible, okay? And whenever I add any extra force on by a piston on it, this pressure or this force, it will be divided equally and transfer equally to all sides of it, okay? So what's happening here? ما بعرف شو اللي صار. اوكي بس الانترنت وقف. خليني شوي بما اشوف. Maybe. Okay, so again, Shabab, in hydraulic press, okay, any hydraulic system, okay, has two pistons, which has two different surface area. Okay, so the two pistons, so any, in any hydraulic system, we have two pistons, okay? And each piston has what? Has a surface, a different surface area. So we can use one, which is the small one to uh, uh, create a pressure on it. And this pressure will be equally on all parts inside this fluid. That means the pressure on this side and the pressure on this side, they are what? They are equal. So 
the pressure on the small piston or the first piston and the pressure on this large piston or the second piston, they are what? They are equal. And we know that pressure equal what? Force over area. So that means the first force on the first piston, F1 over this, the area of the small piston is equal to the force on the second piston divided by the area on what? On the second piston. What this formula tell us? Look here. This formula tell us that, for example, because this area is a small, let's assume it's one centimeter square and this area is 50 centimeters square. So when we said that we have 10 Newton divided by one equal, how much the output force that we are we going to use it to lift cars? We don't know how much is the force F2 divided by 50. So I do cross multiplication the force will increase 50 times. That's why they call this device a force multiplier. It would be easier to use it because we are using a small force to create what a large force, okay? By these types of what, of machines, okay? So this force is a small force F1, okay? Acts on the small surface area. It would be a huge force or the large piston that can lift what cars, okay? Or any other heavy objects, okay? Now, the problem in this type of questions here, what they said, that I need to push a huge distance here, okay? The distance here, it's a huge, but the distance here moved by the car, it would be what? Small. Why I'm doing that? Because all this volume, all this volume, I displace it by this oil or this fluid. It's the same volume, it's here. But since this piston has a greater surface area, the distance movement will be what? small. So I'll talk about the same volume, the volume here and the volume here, it's the same volume. So the volume in the first, moved by the first piston, the small piston, or the volume in the second piston, they are the same. And because we're talking about cylinders volume, okay, so what will be the formula for any volume for inside the cylinder? It will be area multiplied by distance or multiplied by height. So that lead us that since the area is big, the distance moved it is, is a small and vice versa, okay? So this is the other formula in this type of what, of equations, okay? So we have these two formulas only, F1 over A1 equal F2 over A2, or area multiplied by height or the distance equal area multiplied by height or distance for the second piston. Good? Tamam? Let's move on to the questions, sir. You know, I much prefer to open, oops, oops, tight mash. Tight. No problem, no problem. Yalla, khair. Khairin hal asalu and shuf kif lomu. Tamam? Yalla. Question 13 in page 12. What does it The diagram opposite shows a pipe, okay, containing a liquid with what piston on either ends. We have a piston A, we have piston what? B here, okay? If a force of 400 Newton acts on A, piston A, which has a cross-section area of how much? 500 millimeter square. Calculate the area of piston B if the force exerted, if the output force is how much? 1600 watt Newton. What we're going to do. We know that pressure in piston A and pressure in piston B, they are the same. So force of area A divided by area of A equal force of area B over, over piston B over, divided by the area of piston B. Now let's substitute the values. What do we have? The force on A, it's 400, and the force on B is 1600. The area of A, it's 500. How much the area of B? By doing cross multiplication, the area of piston B, it will be how much? 2000 millimeter square. Good. Tamam. Sehel. I'm sorry. Okay. Another question. This question, I find the picture from the internet and I, I put the question, I put, okay, I create a question. So I don't think they bring similar to this one, but let's do it. 
what they ask. The following diagram, how exactly did it, uh, okay, Helena uh, Nama cross multiplication. You cancel two zeros with two zeros, okay? For example, five times 16 divided by four. 16 divided, 1600 divided by four, it's 400, times five is 2000. Good, Muhammad. Okay. Okay. Now what they ask you? Question 14. The following diagram shows a hydraulic system used as a force multiplier. A 100 Newton force applied on the small piston. This is 100 Newton force. Okay, this is the small piston. Okay, calculate the output force of the large piston. Now, we know that piston, the pressure, sorry. Let's write it down like this. The pressure on the small piston is equal to the pressure on the large piston. So that means force of the small piston over area of the small piston equal what? Force on the large piston divided by what? Divide by area of the large piston. Continue. The force on the small piston is 100. Divide by, what's the area here? They give us what? The, what's the two centimeter and the six centimeter? What's the two centimeter and the six centimeter? Is the diameter, is what? Diameter, they didn't put six centimeter square, they put six centimeter. And we know that the area equal what? Pi R square, right? So that means I put pi R square for the small piston and here F, on the large piston, divide by what? Pi radius square on the what? On the large piston, okay? Pi with pi, bye bye, rawaha. Shu bit sir anna. Bit sir anna. 100 divided by. How much is the diameter? It's two centimeter. How much it will be the radius? The half. Daman the radius, half the diameter. So two divided by two, it's one. So one square, equal the force on the large piston divided by six is the diameter divided by two it will be how much three divided by three what square by doing cross multiplication the force will be increased by how much 900 newton nine times it's a nine times multiplication uh, 100 newton becomes 900 newton let's repeat this question Let's repeat this question. The following diagram shows a hydraulic system is used for as a force multiplier, okay? A 100 Newton force applied on the small piston, okay? Calculate what the force on the large piston. So piston on the small equal piston on the uh, pressure on the small piston equal pressure on the large piston. So force over area equal force over area, force on the small piston and over area of the small piston equal force of the large piston over area of the large piston. The force and the small piston is 100 divided by, okay, the, uh, the area which is pi r squared. They give us what here? The diameter, okay? So the diameter, it's a radius, it's half the diameter. So uh, r squared for the small piston, r squared for the large piston, pi will cancel with pi. So two divided by two, it's one, we square it. 6 divided by 2, which is 3, we square it. 3 squared, which is 9, we do cross multiplication. Our the answer, it will be 900. Mister, how did you cancel the pi? Pi with pi, can, there is equal sign here. Multiply by pi, multiply by pi. I can do that in math, right? Can I? Okay. Okay, I understood now. Yes, thank you. Then what they ask here? Yes. Now, the small piston is pushed, shukran Muhammad. The small piston is pushed 4.5 centimeter. It was at zero. Okay, and we push it to how much? 4.5 until here, until this depth. Find out to what level on the scale the large piston will reach. 
Okay, now this one, it's on six. It will go up to, to how much it will go up? We don't know. So what will be the formula? What we are going to do? I told you we have only two formulas in this lesson. Okay, the F1 over A1 equal F2 over A2 and what area multiplied by the distance or the height. Okay, so area for the small piston multiplied by the distance moved by the small piston equal what? Area for the large piston multiplied by the distance for what? For the large piston. Now we know that area is equal to pi r what? Square, right? Pi r square. Pi bar with pi, they cancel out each other. So what's happened here? The radius for the first piston square, we know that the radius is one square. Multiplied by the distance move, they tell us it's 4.5. Shall I keep it in centimeter? No problem. Okay. Equal the radius in the second one, which is six, the diameter is six divided by two, which is, will be three. Three square, which is nine, multiplied by the distance moved by the large what piston. Divide by nine, divide by nine. The distance moved by the large piston is equal to how much? Half what centimeter. Is this our answer? No, they didn't ask about how far it moves. They ask about what? They ask about to which level it will goes up. It was at six. It will goes up to which level now? Six minus half. So the level will be how much? It will be 5.5 .5 centimeter. Good. That's all said. اخترعته انا فمش مش ضروري يكون سهل اوكي okay. I don't think they bring like this one in the external but يعني this is an idea so you can practice on it يلا let's move on اوكي okay. uh, why I subtract because it will move up and as you can see it will move up by a half and the scale is go whenever you go up it will decrease not going down with to increase it i will not add i will subtract okay thank you Marwan. yes it is a tricky question okay another question about hydraulic systems what they ask the figure below represent parts of a hydraulic braking system of a car. A force F1, okay, of the driver, driver's foot, okay, on the brake pedal, okay, move piston X. So this piston X is moved, and this piston Y is moved to push the uh, braking on the wheels, okay. So that's why the force is huge. So that's why they can stop a car only by pressing the pedal of the braking on the car. But you need maybe five, 12, five 10 men to what? To stop the car by their by own bodies. But one small kid by his only foot, he can stop it because there's a hydraulic system here, okay? So the space between a piston X and piston Y filled with the oil that cannot be compressed, it's undiminished, okay? So we can use the formula, okay? The force F2 exerted by the oil move the piston Y. This force apply the brake mechanism, okay, on the wheels of the car. The area, the cross-section area of piston X is 4.8 A. The force F1 is 90 Newton. Calculate the pressure exerted on the oil by piston X. We know that pressure equal force over area. So the force, which is 90, divided by the area. Now, as you can see, this area in what? Centimeter square. You can put it in centimeter square and you write the answer, Newton per centimeter square, or you can convert it, 4.8, and the answer. Okay, 90 divided by 4.8, and the answer will be 18.75 Newton per centimeter square, or you can change it to what? To a, a meter, centimeter, um, instead of centimeter square, meter square, 
So it will be 90 divided by 4.8. Who can tell me how we can convert from centimeter square to meter square? From centimeter square to meter square, what do we, do we need to do? Ah, uh, uh, we will divide or multiply by how much? Divide by 100 from centimeter to meter. But centimeter square to meter square will divide by 100 square. Yes, exactly. So that means times 10 to the power of negative how much? Negative 4 divided by 100 square. That means 10,000. Exactly. Shukran Marwan. So the answer, it will be how much? 1875,00 watt Pascal. So you can put it in this way or you can put it in this way. It's your decision in the, in the exam. Okay? Mashi? I prefer the Pascal one. No problem. Good? Okay, let's continue. Part B. The pressure on piston Y is the same as the pressure applied by piston X. The same pressure. Explain why. Explain why force F2 is greater than force F1. Huh. Who can tell me why F2 is greater? Piston X, Shumalo. Piston Y, Shumalo, Tayyip. Aha, piston Y has larger surface area. For the same force, the, uh, sorry, for the same pressure, I'm sorry, for the same pressure, okay, the force will be greater. So piston Y has larger surface area or greater surface area. Tamam, tamam. Next. Piston Y moves a small distance than piston what X. Piston Y moves a small distance than piston what X. Explain why. This is the uh, one of the unique time that they bring a question that if you repeat the same statement, you will get another mark. <laughs> this is one of the unique times that if you repeat the same explanation, the same statement, you get another mark. Look here, why piston Y moves a smaller distance? We said that it has larger surface area. So because we are displacing the same, what's the second mark? Uh, same what we are displacing. Since same volume is displaced, is displaced and Y has greater area. So it moves a smaller distance. So it moves a smaller distance. Since, okay, since, same volume is displaced, okay? The volume piston for piston X and volume for piston Y is the same, okay? But we have greater surface area for piston Y, tamam? So that means we are talking about, yes, exactly. Shukran Abdul Rahman, tamam? Piston Y has a larger surface area, so it is easier to move. Ma al dakhal be easier, blacks. If you push, Piston Y, you need a greater force because it has greater surface area. Whenever the surface area is a smaller, you need a smaller force in this hydraulic systems, okay? Tamam? Okay. Next. Suggest why the braking system does not work properly, okay? If oil contains air bubbles. Then, but the الأفلام القديمة, okay? بيجوا قال بيحكوا مثلا أنا شلت الإيش؟ الفرامل شلت زيت الفرامل او بربيش الفرامل طبعا هذا الحكي صعب بالحقيقه ما بصيرش هذا الحكي بس يعني خلاص هيك الافلام انه خلاص السيارات بطل عندها بريك بطل في في فرامل اوكي سو ايش هي لوز كنترول اند هي ميك اكسيدنت اوكي سو ذا سيم ثينج هير هابنز اف وي هاف اير بابل لايك ذس اوكي اند وي كومبرس ذا بيستون اكس باي ذا فورس اف 1 وات ويل هابن تو ذس اير بابل it will be compressed. It will be compressed. So as it's compressed, that means 
not the, the pressure that caused by piston X, it will not be the same as the pressure caused by piston Y. It will be less because some of the pressure, some of the force is used to what? To compress the liquid or to compress the oil or the air bubble. Here, the air, the oil they didn't compress is uncompressible. Okay, so the air bubble reduce its size. So that means the force will not be the same or the pressure transfer, it will not be the same. Some of the pressure and the force and the force is used to compress the air bubbles, the air bubbles, so less pressure and force, less pressure and less force is at piston Y. تمام؟ وصلت الفكرة؟ يس مروان، شكرا لك. Good. Write this down if you please. This is May June 2012, fourth questions. Fourth question from the past paper. Now we are going to talk about a new thing called what? Up thrust force. Any object, any object inside water, it will be lighter or heavier. You will feel it lighter or heavier if you hold it. Ah, tell me, Yashaba. Any object, okay, inside water, it will be lighter or heavier. Of course, it will be lighter. Yes, thank you. It will be lighter. You feel it lighter. Why? The same water, the same fluid makes a pressure from the top and the bottom on this object. But since the bottom is deeper, that means the, the pressure in the bottom is greater. So the force from the bottom upward more than the pressure from the top. So this force upward is the up thrust force make the feeling of the weight of the object to be lighter. You will feel it lighter, okay? I'm talking about the same mass, yes, of course. But the feeling of the weight you will feel it lighter, okay? Even the weight doesn't change, but the feeling of the weight, it will be changed. So if I put this object on a balance inside the water, for example, outside the water, I put an object, okay? It's mass, uh, for example, 10 kilogram, that means its weight is how much? 100 Newton. Inside water, this object, I don't know what is it, metal or non-metal, its mass is still 10 kilogram, but the apparent weight on the scale it will be less than 100 Newton. It will be, for example, 60, 40, 70, we don't know, okay? Why? Because there's a force from the fluid on it called what? Up thrust force. So what's the up thrust force? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I put a tick. It's not included in our syllabus. It's not included in the definition. But as you can see, for any object, there is a pressure from the top and there's a pressure from the bottom. The pressure from the bottom, as you can see, it's bigger. So the different in pressure cause different in force and this force, is called up thrust force. Any object inside any fluid, there is a force act on it upwards called the up thrust force from the fluid, from the water, from the air, on the balloon. And when thought, I left force la for I should say my up thrust. Okay. So it is a force caused by the different in pressure, the different and pressure of the fluid of the fluid on any object inside it. Tamam? Okay. So if you hear the word up thrust, don't get confused, Nashi. Okay, next. Now, anyone make diving here, 
And whenever you dive inside the water, you will feel there is more pain on your ears, on your eardrum. That means there is what? Extra pressure whenever you go deep. What about if you go up on the airplane? You also feel the same feeling, but the pressure is not increases, it decreases. The atmospheric pressure surrounding you decreases. That's why when you go from a valley to a mountain, okay, very fast, you feel this pain or vice versa. Why is this? Because there is a pressure on us and this pressure decreases whenever we go higher. This pressure called what? Atmospheric pressure, the pressure from the atmosphere. يعني أفهم من هيك يا أستاذ إنه هلا في عنا حوالينا air molecules these air molecules surrounding us okay they keep hitting our skin our faces our okay and this huge uh, hitting causes a force on our skin that's the atmospheric pressure yes this is the atmospheric pressure تمام ولا تنسوا يا شباب أكثر من حدا بيكون عنده high blood pressure or low blood pressure بيكون أنتم بتعرفوا دائما بيجوا بيقوسوا ال blood pressure تبعه بيجوا بيشوفوا قد إيه بيكون عندنا رقمين رقم عالي ورقم واطي for example 100 over what 80 شو ال 100 شو ال 80 100 is 100,000 pascal and 80 is 80,000 pascal so that the average is 100,000 pascal this is the atmospheric pressure okay outside your skin so the blood cause a pressure inside your skin equals the, the atmospheric pressure outside your skin from the air. So imagine your skin like a balloon. The balloon, I fill it, okay, with the air. Now, this is the balloon, okay, the rubber, okay, it's your our skin and the pressure inside supposed to be equal to the pressure outside, but it's not equal, it's more. That's why the, what, the rubber expand, okay? So there is a force from the rubber to what return back. So the pressure inside make the, the force from the atmosphere and the force from the rubber to be equal. But our skin do not do that, okay? So that's why people get uh, tired when they have high or low blood pressure because it will be above or below the pressure surrounding us, around the skin, okay? That's why they feel pain and they feel headache. Allah يبعدنا جميعاً ويبعد عن أحبابكم إن شاء الله كلياتكم تكون طيبين وسليمين يا رب. So what is the atmospheric pressure? برضو the atmospheric pressure as in syllabus is not included in this definition. But we are going to write how does it happen. I just say it. Okay, I just I can say it in terms of momentum as we are going to study it later, or in terms of forces and pressure how the atmospheric pressure happens. As the air molecules. As the air molecules move, how do they move? We are going to study this later on, okay, in thermal physics. How do they move? What's the word that describes the movement of the air molecules? That's the name, Brownian is the name, okay? Uh huh. I, uh, Brownian motion is the name of the motion. Randomly, yes. As the air molecules, what? move randomly, okay, they keep, they keep hitting each other. Yes, zigzag, yes. Hitting each other. And the walls of the container, container. making force, making force on its area. Which causes pressure. So because of the hitting, because of the collisions, okay, because of this random motion, they keep hitting each other and they hit the walls of the containers. This hitting, this collisions, there's a force of hitting, okay? Uh, we are going to explain in terms of momentum later on. And this force on the surface area is the pressure. So that means there's a trillions of trillions of air molecules 
hitting my face now بضربوني بخبطوا فيه بحس فيه هذا الحكي no i will not feel it because that's the the, the, the normal that's انا متعود عليه <تصفيق> that's the feeling of comfortable okay الحمد لله انه موجود لانه اذا انا مش موجود why we can't live in the space why we can't live in the space not there is no there is no oxygen in, below the water there is no oxygen we can't breathe it okay so we take an oxygen bottle because there is no pressure yes thank you muhammad so this abdul rahman shukran muhammad rahman this high pressure that on our skin caused by the atmosphere which is i told you 100000 pascal look here 101 approximately on the sea level it's 100 a thousand pascal and whenever you go higher on the mountain like mountain everest it will be approximately 30000 pascal so that's why when you go climbing uh, high mountains you need oxygen or you need to take a, 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 a medicine okay so because the pressure will be low and the oxygen level will be low okay tamam okay outside in the space there is no pressure so what happened to the balloon the skin if there is no pressure it will keep expand and rub so our skin, if we go outside without pressure, all the fluid inside the blood will get out from it. Okay? Not because there is no oxygen. Question number 16 is not in the syllabus, but I use it to understand how big is this pressure, the, for the atmospheric pressure. Now, if I bring a cup, okay, a cup of water, If I bring a cup of water and I fill it with water completely and I bring a, 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 a business card, big business card or any small light card and I hold it like this. So I cover all the liquid inside. There is no air bubbles. And I flip it upside down like this. Okay. And remove my hand. What will happen to this card? Does it fall or remains? Yes. What do you think? It will remain. Unless I tilt the what the tilt or do some mistake and it will fall. Actually, it will remain. Why? Because the force caused by the atmospheric pressure from the bottom is more than the pressure or the force caused by the water inside the cup. Torshelli, when he for first this is a name of a scientist, Torshelli, when he first first time saw this trick, he get confused when he was young. Okay, why he why this happened? He keep repeating this experiment, and every time it worked with bigger cups, with the small cups, with oil, with glycerine, with water, until he realized that I want to make it fall. He used a very dense liquid that makes it fall. Who can tell me what the dense the densest liquid that we know it in our nature? What is the densest liquid? Exactly. Shukran Muhammad, shukran Elaf. Mercury. What he did, he used mercury to create something called what? Barometer, as we are going to study later on. Okay? So, what's happening here? Why the, the car didn't fall? Okay? The following picture shows a cup fell upside down, with, uh, is holding upside down. Okay? And water is kept inside it with a small card. Explain why the water didn't fall with the card. Because the atmospheric pressure in the exam, don't write like this. We write atmospheric pressure, atmospheric pressure. We write ATMP. Atmospheric pressure creates creates a force on the card up on the card up upward greater greater than the weight of the water and the car the weight of the water and the car so that means the pressure caused by the water here inside it's very low compared to the atmospheric pressure okay tamam so how much is the atmospheric pressure? They will give it to you in the exam. It's approximately 100,000 Pascal. Okay, look to question 17, what they say. A submarine descends 
ascending, descending. Okay, a submarine descends to a depth of 70 meters below the water surface. Okay, the density of the water is 1050 kilograms per cubic meter. The atmospheric pressure is one times 10 to the power of five Pascal. Calculate the increase in pressure as the submarine descends. Okay. So we know that pressure increased, or the difference in pressure, is only the difference by this depth equal density multiplied by gravity multiplied by the increase of the depth. So 1050 multiplied by 10 multiplied by the depth, which is 70. And the answer will be how much? Uh, 735,000 Pascal. Okay, you can write it like this, or you can write it in a standard form, doesn't matter. 7.35 times 10 to the power of five, it doesn't matter, okay? Fine. Now what they ask, find out the total pressure of the submarine. Now the total pressure, I'm talking about what? Two pressures here. What are the total pressure? The pressure by the water that we just find it out, plus the pressure by whom? By the atmosphere above the water. Okay, so the pressure of the water, we just find it out, 735000, plus the pressure of the atmosphere, which is 100,000. And by we add these together by calculator, it will be 835,000 watt Pascal. Good, easy, clear, tamam. On another dive, the submarine experienced a total pressure of how much? 6.5 times 10 power 5 Pascal. Okay. A hatch cover, the submarine has an area of 2.5 meters square. Calculate the force from outside. So there's a submarine, there's a hatch here. They ask about the pressure from outside, the force from outside. Why they didn't ask the average force or the resultant force? Because there is a pressure from inside. We have to subtract it. But they didn't uh, give us to us. Maybe it, it, it's atmospheric pressure. Maybe it's more than atmospheric pressure. We don't know. So we know that pressure equal force over area. So they ask about the force, which is pressure multiplied by area. And the pressure, which is, they give it to us, Okay, 6.5 times 10 to the power of five, multiplied by 2.5, and the answer will be approximately 11 million. Let me check, oh, 6.5 times 2.5, yes, 16, I'm sorry. 1.625 or 1.63 times 10 to the power of six watt in Newton. Tamam? Why 100,000? Okay. Uh, the atmospheric pressure, one times the power of five, five zeros. That means one, one zero, two zeros, three, four, five zeros. So 100,000, this is the atmospheric pressure. Okay. Okay. Or you can put it like this and you will find the answer by using calculator, it will not change. Okay. The submarine undergoes test in fresh water. The submarine undergoes, shukran Abdul Rahman, sahih, undergoes test in fresh water. The density of the fresh water is how much? A thousand kilograms per cubic meter. Explain why the pressure in the submarine is less at the same depth. Uh, why it's less now? How much was the pressure, uh, the density? 1050, how much the pressure now? 50. It, uh, the, this uh, submarine it transfer from, for example, a gulf to, uh, to for, sorry, from sea to a gulf or from gulf to a lake, the density change. So since the density is less, the pressure, of course, it will be less because, because there is less density. Okay. 
Now let's return back to Torshali. What Torshali did? Torshali, he keep doing this experiment several times by several liquids. He want to see how the card will fall and it falls by mercury. He want to check exactly at what height it will fall. Why he do that? To know exactly how much the atmospheric pressure. So what he did, you can do that at home. You can bring a bottle of water, okay? Any bottle of water and fill it with water and close it, close the thumb, okay? Put it upside down inside a water container, like example, a, a dish and open, okay? Open it below the water, which is full with water. You'll see that the water can, does not come out from the, unless you what squeeze it, okay? Type. Why is this? Because the atmospheric pressure on the surface of the dish is a greater, is much greater than the pressure caused by the water in the bottle. But what he did, he did the same thing. He bring a tested tube of one meter long and he fill it with what? With mercury. And he closed by his thumb and he flip it upside down and put it inside mercury dish and he remove his thumb. Again, he fill it with mercury. He closed his thumb. He put it upside down inside of the mercury dish and he moves his thumb some of the mercury fall down and make the level of the dish, okay, increase. The mercury level in the dish increase. He thought that there is some air bubbles get inside. He repeat this experiment several times. And he realized that there is nothing here. Surely nothing. A vacuum. Like where? Where will you have vacuum? Outside in the space. So how much the pressure? Here. Yes, shukran, yeah. Okay, so where we to read the top of meniscus? Or, oh, yeah, the top of the meniscus, yes, exactly, because it's mercury, yes. So the pressure here equal how much? Shukran, yeah, elaf, it's equal to how much? Zero. So the pressure at this point and the pressure at this point, since they are on the same level, it's the same. So what the pressure inside? The pressure of the mercury, because the pressure of the vacuum is zero. What's the pressure outside is the pressure of foam of the atmosphere. So that means the pressure inside, the pressure of the mercury, and the pressure outside, mercury, and the pressure outside is the pressure of what? Of the atmosphere. Now we know that mercury, the pressure of it is density of mercury, Hg is this big, it's the symbol of chemistry, it is the symbol of mercury. Hg times gravity times height and the density of mercury it's very dense it's 13,600 approximately multiplied by 10 multiplied by the height of the mercury that they find it out it's approximately 65 60 uh, sorry 75 76 centimeter so 0 0.75 or 76 and the answer was approximately more approximately how much? Yes, Muhammad, yes, bravo, yes. 100,000 Pascal. And that's why they call this unit a new unit. They call it one bar. water resistance. For example, 50 bar, or 50 at 80 M atmospheric pressure, or 580 M, 50 meter deep, okay? 580 m, 50 meter deep, okay? So, whenever bar or millibar, okay, this is one, one, one bar in atmosphere, the uh, unit, new unit of pressure is equal how much? 100,000 Pascal. Tamam? Good? Akid? That's how the Torshelli find the atmospheric pressure. Okay? Okay. Now, if I bring this device, the barometer, mercury barometer, and go to another building or another mountain or another valley, okay? In each of the following cases, state and explain what will happen to the height H of the mercury inside the barometer if I bring it to the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is the most deepest point, is the deepest point, which most, is the deepest point on Earth. Lowest point on Earth, approximately now, uh, مش عارف يمكن صار واصل 500 متر بلو سي ليفل ميبي 
لانه كل فتره عم بنزل قاعد كل ماله عم بنزل اوكي okay? if we go to everest mountain تقريبا 8000 متر above the sea level if we go put it in a windy place what will happen to the high pitch if we go to the deep sea okay the height uh, not the mariana no 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 i'm talking about on earth below the sea water that's something else below the ocean okay muhammad okay now bring it to the dead sea okay h will h increase why increase because the pressure is h is huge is great there because the atmospheric pressure is high because the atmospheric pressure there is high. If we bring it to where? To Everest mountain, H will what? Huh? What do you think? Will it increase or decrease? Yellow, and tell me, huh? Send the answer. It will decrease, yes, thank you. Bravo. Why? Because the atmospheric pressure there is what? Is low. Because the atmospheric pressure there is low. So whenever the atmospheric, uh, whenever we change the position, okay, our air drum will change. Uh, we feel uh, more pressure or less pressure on our air drum. That's why we need to eat or drink water or showing gum to keep the pressure inside the air drum by our mouth and outside the air drum the same, okay? So we will not feel pain. Come on. What about if we put it in a windy place? H also will what? Will decrease because the wind decreases the pressure. Since the wind decreases the pressure. The atmospheric pressure. عشان هيك بيحكوا لنا بالنشرة الجوية عندنا منخفض جوي شو يعني منخفض جوي؟ يعني الـ pressure والـ temperature decreases اوكي؟ okay. ماشي؟ تمام؟ good اوكي okay. we have multiple choice questions I want from you to try to do it تمام؟ these questions is your homework homework Okay, 1920, page 17. Question number what? 21. 21. Can we use water instead of mercury in barometer? Yes, but the problem is how long is the pipe or the tube? And how long the water will be in the tube? Okay. Water will evaporate easily, not like mercury. Bravo, Alec. Yes, thank you, Muhammad. I'm just seeing Muhammad and how many people are coming to the house. Okay, so pressure of the atmosphere is equal to the pressure of what? Of the water. So the density of the water multiplied by gravity multiplied by height equal how much? 100,000 Pascal. So the density of the water approximately 1,000. Gravity acceleration is 10, multiplied by H, okay? Divide by 100, uh, divide by 10,000, uh, the 100,000 divided by 10,000, the answer will be how much? H will be equal how much? It will be equal 10 meters. So it will be more than 10 meters. So yes, but more than 10 meters. Yes, more than 10 meters. Okay. Mashi. Good. Okay. Now, I love this. I always enter on the web sites. So this picture I found from the Chinese website. I don't know how to speak Chinese, but when I looked at the website, I found that I can speak Chinese on the fast. What does this word mean? Because I looked at the unit, meter. So this is altitude, the height, the altitude above say, sea level. Key, 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 kilopascal, show the kilopascal, who is atmospheric pressure. So this is in Chinese atmospheric pressure. The atmospheric pressure is 101 kilopascal and decreases whenever we go higher. 
شو يعني جرام بير كيوبيك سنتيمتر؟ اللي هو الايش؟ الدنسيتي جرام بير سنتيمتر كيوبيك متر اللي هو دنسيتي اوف ذا اير، هاو ماتش ذا دنسيتي اوف ذا اير او دنسيتي اوف هيوميديتي، يس. ف هلا انا بعرف احكي شاينيز، اي وقع كاتي وقع. نو ام جست كيدنج. اوكي. تمام. اوكي صبايا شباب وصبايا بكفينا لليوم هيك المره الجايه بنبلش نحكي عن المانوميتر اوكي ونكمل ايش هاي الورك شيت وحنبلش نعمل انتدكشن عشان نعمل اشياء ثانيه ان شاء الله اوكي اني كويشن كويشن يس ذا هوم ورك واز اونلي كويشن نمبر 19 اند 20 ان شاء الله يلا يعطيكم العافيه هاف ا نايس داي اف يو هاف اني كويشن يو كان ستي اون لاين اف يو دونت هاف ا كويشن يو كان ليف السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته